Uh, this is a tutorial for MIDI animator. Um, I know that it's quite confusing to use, so uh, I decided I'm going to make a tutorial. Okay, so to start off, we will take this default cube or whatever you're animating, um, move it over somewhere to the side, um, animate it, and then you want to make it make it so you copy the first frame and make that the last frame. So ba that was a bit slow. So basically, it'll look like this. It'll return to zero. And when you have the animation, it should look all right. Um, this is obviously like not perfect, but this will be our control rig. I will name it that. Um, next, what we will do, make sure you have the plugin enabled because you'll need it for this next part. Um, we'll go to the MIDI animator uh, plugin, make a new collection, title this animated or whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, let's make a cube. This will be what we are animating. Um, oh yeah, also, it's probably better if I do this with rotation instead. Because it won't replace the location. You can actually see it better. So. And then return to zero. <coughs> I just woke up, so I apologize if my voice is a bit raspy. What did I just do? There. Okay. So now we got that. Uh, let's go to this, right? Let's name it something like I like to do underscore and then MIDI note name. So that would be from 0 through 127. Uh, this one is going to be 60. Um, and then we can duplicate this. And we'll name this one 61. Just for ease of access. Now right here is where everything is going to come together. Basically, you want to select this, select your animated, uh, you know, collection, and then type in here what your uh, MIDI numbers you want in your animation. So, 60 and 61. That's what we named these guys. Basically, <clears throat> this will automatically assign notes to these guys. Click Run. If you get this, you did it correctly. Uh, okay, so I'm currently editing this video, and I realized the mistake that I made. Basically, I didn't select the control rig to animate these guys. So basically, you'll want to go here to note on, select the eyedropper, and click your control rig. This will animate based off the keyframes in the control rig. Um, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, I didn't want to keep the video out of order. Anyways, back to the video. Um, now these guys are assigned notes. So next, what we want to do is grab a text editor. Make a new text, title it... Uh, script just for you know organization basically this will be where we run our Python script and I will leave a link to that in the description you might have to search for it <clears throat> but it's whatever you, uh, it's a very good website they, they made a whole like tutorial it's a very good thing to read if you want to get into this you'll want to paste this script into here um, Let's see. So the path will be whatever your MIDI file is. You have to have forward slashes or else this will not work. I think these are forward slashes. I can't remember. Whatever this is, make sure that it's this slash. Otherwise, it will not work. Um, there is a way to use other ones. It's on the website. Uh, if you really care that much, then go to the website and figure that out. Um, but for me, I like using the slash that is where the question mark is. I don't know if that's a forward or backslash. I for forgive me for messing that up. So what you'll want to do is find your directory, paste it into here from the Windows File Explorer, and replace every slash with the opposite direction slash. Now, what we'll do at the end, another slash, and then we will grab um, your file, your MIDI file, and paste that into here. So this is going to be my little little test here. Um, and then you want the channel in here. So basically, whatever MIDI channel you're using, it's great to title it when you're in like FL Studio or whatever DAW you're using. To title it a certain track, um, basically it just saves you a lot of time in having to find it. And you can just look over at your DAW and you know, name it whatever you name the track. 
uh, for this, you will need to title this whatever you're storing your cubes to be animated, wherever that is. Okay, now this should be good. Boom, now we got animations. Now, I, I this is a very short MIDI animation test, but you get the point. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope this helped. Uh, I know that it was very confusing in the beginning for me, so I just wanted to be able to help other people. Uh, yep, anyways, later.